Hey YouTube fans, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is another crochet hair review video. And today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, is that free dress braid wrap and lock hipster lock 18 inches and I have it in the color 1B. Now if you're not familiar with my channel, this is not an install video, this is not a DIY video, this is not a tutorial video, this is a review video. I'm going to come on here and tell you my feelings about this hair. However, I do have an install video for this hair that I'll link up above. So the entire process of me installing the hair, if you want to see it, click up above. That's what that video is. This video is a review video where I come on here and I share with you guys my feelings toward this hair as I wear the hair out. Now how my video flows is I come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair. Showing you how it looks literally the first day with no manipulation, fresh after install, telling you all overall whether it was a hard, easy install, and overall my first day feelings with the hair. Then I come on here with my one week thoughts of a crochet hair. Showing you how it looks one week in, telling you whether overall it has gone uphill or downhill in the course of a week. And then overall telling you what my maintenance routine has been like with the hair over the course of that week. Then I come on here with my final week thoughts of the crochet hair on the literal Literal last day I'm about to take the hair out whether it's been three four five six seven weeks of wear with the hair I show you how it literally looks on that last day tell you overall has it been high maintenance low maintenance is it water friendly active wear friendly and overall whether I recommend you run out and go purchase that hair now if you want to skip around to certain parts of the video for some odd reason you just want to see the first week or if you want to see the final week thoughts there are timestamps down below for that but if you want to see my first day thoughts of this hair just keep Keep watching a few moments later so now coming on here for my first day thoughts of this free tress braid wrap and lock great solution to hiding knots hair in the style hipster lock 18 inches and it is in the color 1b now overall this is what the hair is looking like this is what it's giving you I'm just gonna do a kind of turn around now, like I talked about in my intro, I have a whole install video. So you get to see the, the rough, the dirty, me installing this hair. It's not an easy install. This is not a hair that you're going to kind of get in and it's going to be a two hour and you're done process. Oh, no, no. This is probably the longest time spent installing a crochet hair. From twisting it up to actually installing the hair itself, it overall took me about eight hours. And I will be wearing this hair for quite some time to make use of the fact that my arms are killing me right now. I'm filming this on the literal same day that I installed this hair so my install video is filmed on this same day so I'm tired your girl's tired your girl's hungry and your girl's a little bit sleepy so I'm gonna not spend too much time on my first day thoughts because I think I, I sum a lot up in that install video but overall I did use five packs of this hair that is 16 twists in each pack this hair is 18 inches and it is in the color 1b right now they do have a several colors of this hair available so you can get it in more than just a 1b right now they have it in a color 1 1b 2 4 6 13 t27 t30 and t5 30. Now my install video was in collaboration with Free Tress slash Shake and Go, the parent company of Free Tress. This review video is not in collaboration with them, so everything I say is freely my thoughts, just like everything I said in my install video is freely my thoughts, but this video is not sponsored by Free Tress. My install video was. So as I'm recording this right now, this hair is not out on the line, but as I'm posting it, it should be, so I should be able to link down below where you can actually purchase this hair. But as I'm filming this right now, this hair is still in the manufacturing stage, uh, so I don't have any price points or anything like that but I know with some of their other hair their lock hair kind of ranges between the category of maybe a $7.99, $9.99 and this with being the extra copy I, I would think it probably be maybe a $10.99, $11.99 price point but again don't quote your girl on this. Overall this is only the second time I've tried locks on this channel so I've only tried the Jaded Collection Havana Mambo on this channel and I did not install that the individual way I installed that in the kind of cornrow regular crochet method. So this was a little bit different and it did take a lot longer because it was that individual method. Now, as I talked about in my install video, my hair is a color 30 um, up under here. So it's kind of got a little bit of black root and then it's a 30 in all totality. Um, and it kind of shows in some places as you can maybe see, maybe not so well, but there's some places where my hair 30 is showing a lot more kind of coming through, but it's not bad. It's not a bad kind of look. The one thing that I will probably like about this being that it's individual is 
that I could pull it up if I wanted to. Um, I will say it doesn't feel super heavy right now. It does feel very lightweight. Now overall, that's my first day thoughts with this hair. Again, not much to say the first day because I think I cover a lot of, of topics in my install video. I kind of walk you through. And again, it's looking good. It's feeling good. I'm not having any issues right now. We'll see if that feeling continues in my first week thoughts coming up right now. One week later. So now I am back for my one week thoughts on this free dress hipster lock hair. And this is what it is looking like after one week. Now, this is why I don't like trying braided styles, lock styles, and these twists, all these twist type styles or review them on my channel. You guys know I typically bring you kind of loose crochet here. The reason I don't do a lot of braided styles is because it can't go wrong. It really can't go wrong. Like it's not gonna look too different if I do like a crochet box braid type situation. Nothing should really make it look extraordinarily different um, in the same sense that, I, you know, loose crochet here like a deep twist or a ripple deep or something like that. That can go wrong. You know, it can frizz, it can mat, it can tangle. And I like bringing you that information. This is just looking the same exact way. I look the same way I did last week and I'm pretty sure I'll look the same way on my final thoughts. Uh, but I digress. I look back at my last time trying locks the Havana Mambo Janet collection video and I saw that was 13 minutes long again there's not much really to say uh three main things I want to hit on in this video is about me not putting it up a lot of people are like it's locks why don't you put it up and I've seen a lot of people do like a bun at the top of their hair or like a pony situation when I put this thing up it don't look cute to me so like if I do like a bun situation or like if I bring it on to the front and like try to put it at the top it's not like a cute like bun like situation to me maybe it's the length of it you know with it being 18 inches maybe the length doesn't bode well for kind of an updo type situation but i don't know it don't be looking cute like these girls who be on instagram and and, and youtube and all that with their hair up in the lock situation mine isn't giving me that same cutesy vibe so it, it feels kind of heavy when it's all at the top too so yeah it's not looking cute for updo for me in this hair so throughout the wear but i'll probably still wear it down like I'm wearing it right now um, I might do kind of some pieces back like a like a this situation this ain't bad this doesn't feel bad this doesn't feel wrong but all of it up your girl can't do that out in public no that's not a thing that I feel comfortable doing the weight of it and the kind of look of it just doesn't look too cute in my opinion the next thing I wanted to hit on was nighttime routine of course I just wear my body at night put it up at night I got this bond the first ever time that I tried a lock style when I got that Havana Mambo faux locks I think that's when I bought this so I've had this scarf for three years now well not this exact one I bought this several times from Target a lot of people ask me which scarf is that from Target I'm gonna be honest with you Target doesn't have a huge bonnet selection if you walk into Target they only have one bonnet because again the African-American like brush scarf aisle is, is this teeny and they have one scarf and it's this scarf they might have it in a different color but it's the same scarf I will link it down below for you guys who want to check it out but again it's from Target I walked into Target three years ago two years ago whenever it was bought this scarf and it works well and all I do is just bring everything to the top kind of put my scrunchie around it and then throw my bonnet on and I sleep like this and the scarf doesn't come off the bonnet doesn't move this is an amazing bonnet I love this bonnet um, and then when I get up in the morning well Quite honestly, who am I kidding? Sometimes I take my scarf off, sometimes I don't. As I'm wearing this hair, it's the quarantine right now. So sometimes I might wear my hair up like this all literal day, but sometimes, occasionally, when there are days like today, I just take it out and then kind of just you know style it as you kind of saw at the beginning of this video and now the third thing i just wanted to hit on is in comparison to the havana mambo janet collection hair that i tried in the past that hair was a lot uh neater i'd say this is just definitely a more rugged look and i'm trying to debate internally which side i like more do i like the more neater kind of smoother look or do i like the more rough texture sometimes i wake up in the morning and i'm like uh i like the neater and then sometimes i wake up in the morning and i'm like oh i love this it's me a boho vibe so day to day my opinion changes on what do I like do I like the hipster boho feel or do I like the neat concise kind of silky feel today I'm feeling this look today I'm feeling this look but it could be because I'm made up I'm in front of the camera and I'm just feeling it again it's a personal preference for you guys out there what lock you're gonna kind of prefer for me I think I uh, today I like this form of lock 
talk. The one thing I will say about this hair that over the last, you know, week I've noticed is it's extremely long. I knew it was long when I put it in, but it's extremely a long length of hair. I know some people this might be a little too long and a little annoying for you. So I wish they did have a 16 inch option or maybe a little bit of a shorter option for you guys who do like shorter hair. For me, it's one of the longest 18 inches I've ever had. Like I was like, oh, 18 inches. Okay, that's, that's my normal love. And then I'm wearing it right now and I'm like, is this, are you sure this ain't 20? Is this 20 inches? You pull that curl down and it's getting a little long, long in the neck over here. So again, um, I know this length may be annoying for some folks out there. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm digging it a little bit, but I know I'm just trying to keep in mind for you guys out there who length is not y'all's favorite thing. This might not be your favorite, you know, style, but I digress. This has been my first week thoughts of this hair. I don't know how long I'll be wearing this hair. Quite honestly, I feel so bad that I'm in the house where I'm wearing this unique hair. Nobody in my real life is seeing me with locks, curse this. I don't like this, uh, but I'll see how long I'm able to wear this hair, whether it's one, two, three, four, five more weeks. You guys will see in my final thoughts coming up right now. Later. So now I am back for my final thoughts on these free trash wrap and lock hipster locks. And this is what it looks like at seven weeks. So I'm taking this hair out at seven weeks of where you guys know typically I do not like wearing my hair for any longer than seven weeks. Now first just going to go into kind of the, my normal spiel. Uh, it looks really good for seven weeks. That's why a lot of times I don't like wearing braided styles, Senegalese with box braids, any of the braided styles on my channel just because it's going to look the same after you know seven weeks. It's probably the most low maintenance style that you're going to have. My channel is about experimentation, trying different things, seeing how long something is lasting, being surprised at how long it lasts. I'm never going to be surprised with the lock situation because again locks should look exactly the same um, after weeks of wear. So looks pretty much the same. The only thing I will say is of course with this being the individual lock method my hair has grown out a little bit so my natural hair is kind of you know making it a little bit so that it's I don't know a little bit more loose than it was at the beginning. So that's the one thing I will say. Is it active friendly? Absolutely. Of course you can wear any protective braided box braid Senegalese twist again lock style for working out i think it's definitely workout appropriate is it water friendly um with these i just feel like they would feel with so much water that it might get a little heavy it's not heavy in a normal setting it's not heavy right now on my shoulders my head isn't kind of slouching down but i do feel like it would be heavier if i did get it super wet so just keep that in mind i don't think it's going to go south i just think you know you're going to have a heavier situation on your hands than you started with but i don't think it'll be a bad water situation type of a hairstyle all I've done at night is just put it up in a ponytail and my normal pineapple like I'm sure I talked about in my first week thoughts my first week thoughts was so long ago I'm pretty sure I show you guys though that I just pineapple at the top put my scarf on wake up in the morning haven't put a drop of product on this hair the entire time because again it is a very low maintenance style and no product is needed my family has seen the locks and they really liked it my co-workers have seen it through zoom because of course we're still social distancing I I work from home now. I don't even know if I had my monitor like here during my beginning stages of this but now the monitor is officially here so it's officially real real that I'm working from home. I was working from my laptop earlier and you know it's not fun but now I got my two monitors like I'm back at my normal office and we are good to go. So um, my co-workers have seen it through Zoom. They were like yes I'm loving it queen. I'm feeling you girl. Um, so people have liked it I think although I haven't been out in public and that's the one thing that kind of sucks about this is that you know a style like this that I've worn for seven weeks the only people who have seen it is my family and people on video uh, but I, I digress I think it's a very cute style so that has been my review if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this content that I present for you guys and make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of this good content that I present for you guys over here make sure you're following me on Instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye